I said to them na hindi ako naniniwala sa any kind of God. Tapos, they, tapos bigla akong dinubog ng mga, oh, ano yun? Bakit hindi ka naniniwala? Ano ba yung pinagdadasalan mo? Mm-hmm. Tapos, some of them actually parang nag-close off and uh, nag-iba yung trato nila sa akin just because I don't believe in a higher being. <laughs> Backdoor. Today we're going to talk about agnostic atheism. By the way, my name is Ivan Evangelista. If you're new here, I'm your host, and today I'm joined here by Jarvis. So, hey guys, you are an agnostic atheist. Yeah. So, feeling ko kasi parang medyo contradicting sila. Like, is it not contradicting? No, it's actually hindi sila nako contradict. So, atheism. When we first uh, discuss muna natin atheism is a system of disbelief in any kind of higher being. So, hindi ako naniniwala sa any kind of higher being. Agnosticism is unsure ka na if there's a higher being or not. So, if you smash those two things together, so basically, I am unsure right now na there's an, uh, a higher being, pero for right now, I don't believe. So, yun nga, if ever that I experience any kind of, for example, miracles or whatever, I would believe after if uh, I'm going to be persuaded na to believe. Yeah. So, that's the thing. Uh, I'm not, let's say, yung may mga atheists kasi na 100% na they don't just believe whatever happens. Basically, I'm an open-minded atheist. Yun yung ano dun eh. Mm-hmm. Na if maybe, like, for example, God shows up tomorrow, I would believe, yeah. May mga ano pa rin na uh, atheists that would not believe kung mangyari man yun. So that's the thing with gross atheism. We're open, I'm open to believing in a higher being. Not, yeah, higher being. Uh, that's the thing there, higher being. So I don't believe in any kind of religion then. That's the part of atheism na ano. So, yeah. <laughs> So you believe in evidence-based, pag, like like for example, may new scientific evidence now that Jesus is real or any God is real, you would be open to changing your mind, right? Yes. So, for example, actually, ano eh, um, habang topic when it comes to evidence-based, let's just make it very, very simple. Uh, scientific methods, since you need to test muna if it's real or not. Mm-hmm. So, for example, if... How do you actually test pa nga if there's a higher being? Since wala pa yung technology natin right now to prove that. Uh, super laki ng, ng uh, topic ng, ng universe to actually prove that there's a higher being. Actually, yun nga, uh, with the, the technology right now, ang ano lang na super laki nga ng universe and why would God just choose us? Yun yung parang ano dun eh, na usapan when it comes to science and evidence-based na maybe God is just uh, an alien or something na hindi pa natin napuprove right now. So maybe like a thousand years from now, maprove natin that a God, a being na mas advanced sa atin. Right now, yun nga yung stand ko as, mm-hmm. ano, as agnostic atheist. Because unsure tayo. Yan, if you think about it, yung Catholics believe in God. Then there's Christians that believe that Jesus Christ is a God. Mm-hmm. Then there's Muslims that believe in Allah. Then under any kind of uh, there's actually smaller religions that's uh, believing deities. Yeah. So yun lang naman yung ano. But why is it like every other culture different God? Yung pinapaliwala nila. Yeah, yung, yung din yung question le, like if if there's evidence based na there's a God like what why is, is it a God? Then, yeah. yeah. Like, are you specific? So I said it's different all over the world. Definition of a god might be di- different from my definition of a god. Because yeah. a thousand years ahead, before, the humans believed that the sun is a god. Mm-hmm. So right now, we believe that God is a person that's just like being than us. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe a thousand years from now, it's different. So that's the thing. Like the definition of god or gods uh, changes throughout time. Yeah, for example, personally ako, ang, my God is, I believe that everybody has a higher being within themselves. So, yeah, that's what I believe in. And if I were to prove that, Christians wouldn't believe that. So yeah. they wouldn't believe that 
that is a god. So speaking, so dun yah, but Christians don't believe that. So imagine, like, Christians is an atheist when it comes to the Muslim God Allah. The Muslims are atheists when it comes to Jesus. So they just don't believe na one God is uh, real and not. So for example, like uh, ano bang so for pop culture, Zeus, yung mga uh, Roman and Greek gods. They were gods before. Mm-hmm. Pero ngayon, the uh, mythology na siya sa right now. So, ano ba yung nag-disprove na hindi sila gods? Mm-hmm. Like, bakit ng Hunt Olympus? <laughs> Walang nakitang gods there. So, ayun lang naman yung ano doon na... Parang may criteria ko ano ba yung... Yeah, God. ano ba yung criteria? <laughs> like, what's the universal criteria on uh, how do you define God? Is it like, do you need to be omnipotent to be a god? Do you need to be om- omniscient? And what's the other? Omnipotent, omniscient. Omnipresent, yeah, the only all for a god, or you just need to be a higher being, like higher being. So some people, yes, Jesus Christ is is technically a higher being to other religions. Does that actually make him a god, or ano ba? Ano ba yung what's what's the tamang criteria? Yeah. To define what is a god, yun yung ano din nila. Eh. Yeah. Because if you're going to tell me nga na so di ba uh, the sun is just nga said before pinapaniwalaan siya ng mga tao before na it's a god. So, uh, that was like thousands of years ago. So right now, we believe that, just for example, yeah, si Jesus Christ or some other uh, named person that na higher being is uh, a god. So maybe like a thousand years from now, ma-disprove mm-hmm. na hindi sila god. Kasi yun nga rin talaga yun, yun eh. Uh, ano ba talaga yung criteria? on what makes a god a god. For example nga, yung sun. Ba- paano siya naging just before? Just because it provides warmth, light, whatever. Yun yung, ano, yung kailangan ng people before. So, kaya they worship the sun as a god. So right now, we worship this god because of this and this and this. So maybe a thousand or whatever years from now, ma-disprove like uh, the thing that religions believe in, one way or another, yung mga system of belief ng mga tao is madidisprove ng science. Yeah. So, and unexplainable siya right now, but maybe in the future nga, madidisprove siya. So, I think yung God natin is in relation sa progress ng humans. Yes. Kasi parang tayo lang naman din yung gumagawa ng religion natin and therefore ng God natin. Mm. How do you fit into modern society? Yung organized religion? Or like, how do people view you as an agnostic atheist? So, some of the experiences that I've had is that Kuyari, for example, ikaw, tanong mo ko, uh, usually sa work, sa paghahabang nag-iinuman with the circle of friends, new people, like, minsan, hindi maiwasan is the topic of religion, politics, blah, blah, blah. So, religion, like, uh, okay, uh, I was Catholic before. Okay, so, bro, what do you believe? Would, I, I, I would say to them na agnostic atheist ako. Tatanong nila, ano yun? So, I would say na, yun nga, yung sinabi ko earlier, na I'm unsure right now, pero I don't believe in a higher being. Tapos yung reaction nila actually is hindi nila makomprehend that someone is disbelieving yung higher being or their, their religion. So medyo mag, uh, ano sila, mag-iisip sila like they would ask questions na. So if ano, uh, what do you pray in? So I just say na I don't pray. Tapos may sunusunin mga question eh. Religion is such a big impact sa buhay. Yeah, big impact din sa buhay so, ng um, nila yeah, na so, hindi nila makomprehend na... Wala. <laughs> na wala. So, the worst experience I've had is, uh, actually, nag-iyosi kami sa school noon. Hindi ba sa school mismo, sa ano, sa malapit sa school. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then, biglang na bring up yung topic ng religion. I said to them na hindi ako naniniwala sa any kind of God. Tapos, they, tapos bigla akong dinubog ng mga, oh, ano yun? Bakit hindi ka naniniwala? Ano ba yung pinagdadasalan mo? Mm-hmm. Tapos, some of them, actually, parang nag-close off and uh, nag-iba yung trato nila sa akin just because I don't believe in a higher being. Maging, naging negative? Yung... Yes, naging negative. Kasi, pero uh, good thing then may some of the people na naging open then na, ah, okay, so mayroon pala taong ganito na hindi naniniwala sa Diyos. Mm-hmm. Or kas- kahit anong Diyos, or kahit anong ano. So, yun yung ano dun eh, na masakit lang for sa side ko na if malaman nung 
uh, isang tao na you're not believing, like hindi kayo same ng yeah. system of belief, makaklose off na agad. Yeah. Like, okay, uh, okay, uh, uh, parang ano ka na eh, others ka na agad. Oo, feeling ko nangwiwindang din yung mga tao kasi if you don't believe in God, you don't believe in the devil, so you can't be punished. So parang yeah. siguro nagugula yung utak nila doon. Kasi ako din personally, yun din yung una kong worry, like, if I don't believe in God, like, ang buong buhay ko affected na. So, I'm sure, nagka-identity crisis din sila. Yun din yung ano doon do, na, uh, pag hindi nila makomprehend, mm. like, they just hate. Cut na agad. Like, oh. okay, hindi man cut, like, hindi man hate din agad. Like, tama na yung usapan, I don't want to talk about it. Mm. That's the thing din sa Filipino culture as a whole na, hindi tayo open up yeah. sa so any hush other uh, opinions. Yeah. Iba. So, if I'm different from you, parang, okay, bye. Eh, yun yung ano dun eh. But I think, uh, like, times are changing now. Like, people are now more open. Yeah, about, I mean, yeah, uh, mas open na sila. Unlike before nga, na, you know, good thing din with technology din na uh, they could research about it. They, maraming ano na rin na... Resources. Yeah. Maraming sources, maraming na silang mababasa na... And maraming na rin silang nakakausap na any... Na, outside of circle nila. Mm-hmm. Kaya mas naging open na rin yung Filipino culture with other stuff. Like, hindi lang religion. So, yun lang naman yung ano. Hey, I just wanna hop on here and talk to you about this cool social media manager, Metricool. Are you a social media professional who is looking to have the best tools for the company? Or are you just a beginning influencer trying to break into the social media world? Well, we know a cool tool that can do all of these. This is Metricool. Metricool caters to all social media users with its simplicity and effectiveness. No need to scramble from app to app. Manage all of your social accounts in one place, be it behind a computer or on your smartphone. Metricool is a marketing tool for analyzing, managing, and growing your digital process. Its simple interface and unique tools help any kind of social media marketer achieve their social media goals. So what are you waiting for? Create winning strategies and improve with Metricool. Check out the Metricool link down below. Um, speaking of religion, like, sa organized religion, are you also like, against organized religion? Uh, yes, actually, since organized religion, yung, yung, yung ano lang ah, na masyado silang uh, nagda-divulge sa politics, mm-hmm. sa business, masyado nilang kinokontrol uh, the way of life ng ibang tao. Yeah. For example, may mga, ano kasi, may mga religion dyan that dictates on sino ba yung boboto mo. So parang, mm-hmm. iffy ako about that. Yung may mga religion na you need to give, like, 10% of your income to them. So, bakit kailangan ng religion yun eh? Yun yeah. lang yung ano ko dun na, for example, minimum wage worker. For example, minimum wage worker ako. Then, uh, 10% is a re- really big thing na instead na ipangkain ko or uh, igastos ko for myself to betterment of myself, bakit ibibigay ko dun sa organized church or organized religion na sa- saan nila gagamitin yun? Yun yung ano ko dun eh. Like, weird lang na may tax na nga. May... <laughs> Ano pa dun sa ano dun. Then, religion should be separate from anything actually. Mm-hmm. Dapat uh, both personal and as a whole na hindi dapat... Keep it to yourself lang na. Parang ano rin yun eh. Uh, pero uh, I have nothing against missionaries. Yung mga ano, uh, go ahead. Like speak your word of God or whatever. As long as hindi sila offending. Parang yeah. ano yun eh. They don't force people. Yeah, do, just don't force people yung yung way of life mo. Or, kasi yun niya, organized religion din kasi is medyo malaking topic din yan. Yeah. Basta ang ayaw ko lang sa organized religion is that they dictate kung what you do. Ayun lang yung ayaw ko doon sa ano. Yeah. When people say organized religion, sorry sa mga ma-offend ko, parang it's like a cult. Actually, <laughs> ano din eh, if, uh, you like about, babibalik tayo doon sa napag-usapan earlier, uh, religion 1 looks at religion 2 as a cult. But religion 2 looks at religion 1 as a cult. So, what makes it what cult different from a religion? Yan, yun lang din na yun eh. Yung definition mo, personally, kung ano ang cult. Pag uh, yung religion 1, may ginagawa na ganito, so cult na agad yan. Pero, pero si religion 2, hindi. Bakit ganun? Yeah, and they think na ikaw as an atheist, 
it's very cult like for them yung mga organized religion yeah <laughs> yung kasi parang <laughs> yun din yung ano yung misconception ng atheist. uh atheist, agnostic and atheists na if you don't believe in a god you're already god uh, devil worshiper you eat babies mer pa ano ito this uh what else pa yung mga ano doon but the devil is like a higher be right like it's like a higher being then so you don't really believe yeah the same then kasi the concept of the devil kasi is ano lang eh catholics Oh, yeah. okay. May, pero may concept din of a devil, mm-hmm. pero not really sa ibang religions. Pero yeah, uh, as long, any any kind of uh, higher being, I don't believe. So devils, angels, whatever. For the Chinese, the chi or energy, whatever. Kung ano man yung, mm-hmm. Kasi any kind of higher thing, as long as it cannot be explained by science, or explained simply lang, kaya itong explain. Uh, it can't that be proved or disproved, whatever. Hindi ko bin- pinaniniwalaan. Um, binanggit mo yung energy and all that spiritual stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you view spirituality naman? Actually, same din siya. I don't believe in spirituality, like, yun nga, energy stuff, mga spirits and all that stuff. Uh, more on spirituality for me is being in peace with yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, more on mental health siya na uh, you accept what you are. Parang, okay, uh, spiritual na agad yun. Kasi most Filipinos don't actually... They're religious but they're not spiritual. And mm-hmm. mayroon din may vice versa na may spiritual but not religious. Uh, do what you want. Yun lang yung ano dun. As long as you're in peace with yourself. Can you be agnostic, atheist, pero spiritual ka? For me, yung uh, view ko is uh, no. Mm-hmm. You could define nga spiritual na yung uh, that someone yung talking to a higher being pero yun nga yung definition ko of spiritual is in peace with myself. I'm sure there are a lot of people na makaka-relate sa experience mo or like closeted and lost in atheists. Yeah. Like how uh, like what do you want to say to them? Like do you have any advice kasi I'm sure they feel like stuck. They feel frustrated na yeah. yeah. Lahat naman ng uh, agnostics and atheists and agnostic atheists na nakilala ko is na frustrate sila with themselves and yung people around them. Uh, just be uh, mindful na lang din and open na ganito kasi yung belief nila. So, kaya naging ano rin na sa for me na I keep my agnostic atheism to myself na din. I don't really... Uh, say it out loud unless na tanungin ako. So, isa na rin yun sa mga ano ko doon na hindi open ang Filipino culture, especially the older generations with uh, any other kind of belief. Mm-hmm. So, yun lang naman, like, keep it yourself. Uh, if you want to reach out to other people, meron man tayong tools, may social media, may mga communities dyan with other communities with mga disbelief or example uh, there's a, an atheist community here in the Philippines actually uh, they could help you out yung but, and how to understand yourself and others better but you also mentioned na madami ring elitism sa mga groups na yon like sa mga ganon umasta like uh, what yeah. do you want to say to that yeah uh, so yung sa elitism kasi with uh, atheist community here in the Philippines na medyo ano, uh, wag ka lang siguro ma-offend if ever. Kasi may mga nag-gatekeep nga na you need to know this and that. I-absorb mo lang kung ano yung sinasabi nila. Don't be offended sa kung ano yung how they act, how they talk. Uh, just uh, absorb or just understand kung ano yung dinidiscuss nila. Alright, thank you so so much Jarvis for being here. Ang dami ko rin natutunan it for this video. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. And kung madami rin kayo natutunan and do you have more questions about agnostic atheism, then please just comment it down below. I'll answer it or maybe si Jarvis if you're yeah. free to answer it. Ayan guys, uh, don't forget then eat like ang ating video and share it as well. Don't forget also to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell if you want more videos like this. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye! Oh my God, really. Or do you want to take it from the top? You can take it from the top. Like, Para, as, mas explain to me like I'm a five-year-old. You na lang isip ko explain it like I'm a five-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah.